What is up, guys? Welcome back to Picking a Fight. I'm Latch. I'm Jeff. And today we're going to be trying out this new set. Uh, let us know what you think. If you hate it, go ahead and tell us <laughs> down below. Uh, if not, let us know what we can do better. We're just trying out new things, you know, trying to stay fresh. But today we're coming with a really great matchup. We're going to be covering the UFC 267 card. And today we're actually going to be looking at Lee Jing Lang versus Kamzat Chemaev. This is Kamzat's uh, first fight back in a long time. He had that bout with COVID. He actually retired for a little bit and after, you know, dominating so much. So this is going to be his first time back. A lot of people are excited. Um, a big criticism about him was that uh, all the fighters he smoked basically were not ranked mm -hmm. and were like cannon fodder basically for him. But now he's actually getting a pretty solid opponent in the leech. And it's going to be an interesting one. What you think, Jeff? Yeah, it's good. I mean, as you can see here, you know, um, uh, the leech is what, six years older Mm -hmm. He got a two inch re, uh, height advantage. He's a what? <laughs> Math? <laughs> yeah, bro. And then he got a three inch reach advantage. I don't think uh, those are really going to factor in too much in this fight. I mean, the reach and the height is like not a major, you know, um, difference. Um, and I do think Kamza is going to try to take this to the ground as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he might want to establish, you know, some striking like credentials in this fight mm -hmm. but i think this is a, ma a bad matchup to do that for um because i think the leech um although i feel like he might seem one-dimensional sometimes like i feel like i think we talked about it with darren till like sometimes it just seems like all he has is that uh, power hand yeah and, and so that's how i feel he is too i feel like his um what do you fight uh he fought neil magny right he fought magny punch yeah. nebu somebody else i forgot uh zaleski dos santos oh yeah yeah but but against neil magni i mean it kind of showed where his weakness lies you know mm. and so like i feel like cam cam cam's that comes that's gonna try to uh you know expose that what you think yeah man i completely agree i think um chamayev has had you know his last fight against mirshar he uh knocked him out in spectacular fashion and i think it kind of impressed people but i think people are just assuming out the bat that that makes him an elite striker. But I don't think that's the case. I do think he's a powerful striker. And I do think he I think he can finish Lee if he uh, decides to stay there and lands a good shot. But I just don't think his striking is as put together as his wrestling. Um, and Lee, like you said, I mean, I think that's his only, like, um, like his biggest threat, his power in the striking. And we saw Magny kind of have his way with Lee when it came to grappling. You know, he controlled him for most of the fight. And, and I actually would probably put Chemaev as a better wrestler than Magni. So I think I think that'd be his easiest path to victory. I don't know if he'd be able to submit Lee, but I could definitely see him take TK on him on the ground since, you know, Chemaev is really, really aggressive in that mm -hmm. in those clinch uh clinch um positions. Like on the cage and er, everywhere basically. He's always trying to hurt his opponents. He's always trying to smash <laughs> and, <laughs> and I think he's gonna do that to be honest. Because uh, if he just tries to stay standing, I think, I, you know, that is a possibility. And I he has a chance of winning there. But I just think, you know, if he really absolutely wants to win, I think the wrestling would be the easiest path to um, to get that W. Because, uh, you know, Lee's a little older. And, I mean, he's shown that he's kind of struggles in those positions. And, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I think. But Yeah, I mean, I agree with you. I mean, I, I, I do... I have the road to victory, right? Right, road to victory over here, right? Uh -huh. My man's Lee, right? So, <laughs> so, so I think he, his. I mean, not, I don't want to be mean, but his only like shot of winning is he has to keep this on the feet. He has to strike. No, oh, yeah, I agree. Man. And then uh, he has to manage his range, you know, stuff, takedowns, all that. And I, I think he has to be a little more creative. I think for sure, for sure. I think show uh, a little more, well, you know, well roundedness. Like throw some, throw more kicks or like uh, manage your range with the kicks or something like that. Um, obviously, I wouldn't go for takedowns in this matchup um, unless he does something like Dan Hooker did. But I, I don't think it would be a good idea. Like in his last match, like he kind of just got the takedowns almost for like points. Mm, I just really... think Kamza's too strong. I think if Lee tries to enter that world, I think he'll end up on the bad side of it pretty quickly. Yeah, you know, that's his bread and butter, and I would I would probably. Yeah, stay, stay away, away from, from that unless you absolutely have to. Yeah, for sure. I mean, who who you got? I mean, you, as you see here, you know, Kamsa is a a pretty big favorite. Um, the Leech is pretty pretty decent. Uh, you know, pretty big underdog too. Yeah, Lee's actually coming in as a four 
plus 425 underdog, which is kind of crazy, especially because Kamza hasn't fought anybody, you know, that, that can really gauge where he's at amongst, like, the ranked fighters. Mm. So I think this is actually going to be his first, like, great test to kind of uh, show where he's at. Because Lee, I think, is a solid fighter. But, I mean, he's lost to the, the good guys of the division, you know. And I think Magny was, I think, at the time, his best opponent. And he yeah. fell short there. And so I think number 11, I think that's, like, a perfect, like, 11 to, like, 15 is the perfect kind of litmus, you know, a, kinda, a perfect spot or, like, what is it called? Like, a perfect gauge of where Lee is at. Mm-hmm. So I think this is going to really see where Kamza's at if he's deserving of like a top 10 or maybe top 5 person depending on his performance. But I, I him being that big of a favorite, it's a little weird, but I can see it considering um, Lee's struggle with the grappling. But mm-hmm. I, I I would have to go Chimaev. I think, um, so I feel like he's going to strike, but I think he should just wrestle and I think eventually he'll find a finish there either by TKO or by... Uh, by decision, but I, I think he finishes it. I think he TKO's Lee somewhere in the second. Uh, what striking or on the ground? On the ground striking, <laughs> 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 like, like ground, ground and pound. pound. Like yeah, I think because I mean Lee's also gotten t- uh, he's looked fatigued before. Yeah, and you know grappling wrestling that's you know the, one of the most tiring things in MMA. So I can see and Chamay is way you know, he's big man. He's a big middleweight. Yeah. So I think we're gonna see him also kind of you know push that gas tank a little bit. How about yourself, man? Yeah, I mean, uh, the way I see it playing out in my head is that uh, Kamzat's going to, you know, try to strike in the beginning. And then uh, I think he's going to get, like, rocked. Mm -hmm. And then um, as Lee is going to try to finish the fight, I think he's going to get stuck on the ground. And then he's going to get finished that way. That's how I see it. That's a very specific scenario. Yeah. (laughs) If it happens, man, I I called it. (laughs) That's true, yeah. But I don't know. I don't see Lee landing anything because... Um, even though the reach isn't anything crazy and the height isn't anything crazy, I think um it kind of will be a little uh a kind of a factor when they are striking because uh Kamza fights so long, you know, when he strikes, he strikes very long, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, I think that could be uh a challenge for Lee to kind of get into his range. Because Lee yeah. fights a little smaller, you know, he fights like more wide, while mm-hmm. Kamza kind of fights more like taller. Yeah. And so I think that might have a little effect in the striking, but I don't know. I think Kamzat's obvious choice of win, like obvious uh, path to victory, is the wrestling, and so I'm gonna have to go with Chimaev by second round TKO. Yeah, I gotta go. I, I agree with you. I think he's gonna win by ground and pound. Uh, I, I'm not sure what round second round's the safest, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean first round could be maybe. Yeah, it could be first dominates. round. Yeah, yeah, I'll say first round, but I, I think well, he definitely a, finishes a, it. <laughs> I think he definitely finishes it by ground and pound. So uh, we agree on that one. Yep. So yep. there you go. We both think Kamza will kind of prove his hype and go ahead and get a good win over the leech. I think that'll put him for sure in the top 10. I mean, if Islam could break into the top 10 without fighting a top 10 guy, maybe they'll do the same, especially he got so much hype. You know, he hasn't fought in a, in a, in a little bit. So, you know, there's a lot of hype behind this guy. Obviously, the Russian market, Russian fans are so crazy. You know, they're they're so active in the MMA community. Mm. So, you know, there's a lot of people rooting for him, a lot of hype, a lot of popularity. So it's going to be a good match. But we both got Chamar by by finish, actually. So, mm-hmm. yeah, those are our thoughts. Those are our predictions. Let us know what you think, uh, who you got. Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we're going to be putting out videos for the other fights on this card. So go ahead and check those out. And, yeah. Yeah, and also don't forget to let us know if you like this new setup or not. You know, um, it's something new to both of us, but I mean, just let us know what you think about it. Yeah, let us know, man. Yep, and we'll see you after the fight. And we'll see you after the fight.